This is a, a Lynx um, Jewel motor. The reason I'm calling it a Jewel motor is it acts a little bit like a Jewel Thief in, in, that we're using the, um, the flyback in the circuit. So the green coil is the drive coil and when that one's finished firing um, the transistor, which is right there, that transistor sends a high voltage surge through that red coil on top. And then also I've got AC coming off both coils right here and going to a bridge rectifier. Right now I've got the capacitor undone. I'm going to show you the voltage. I'm going to run it off a 9 volt. I can uh, use that potentiometer to change the speed. Um, the reason I made this is because the Bedini motor is neat, but um, it can't charge itself. It can't. I mean, it can, but it's it's not really intended to do that. It's a, a two battery system. Um, also, if you run any DC motor, they do act like generators, but generally um, at the same RPM, it will run at say given 12 volts it won't put 12 volts out this motor actually will put more voltage out than input so on 9 volts our rectified DC will be about uh, 14 to 16 volts so it's going to put higher voltage than it uses here is the um, schematic Um, I'm calling it a Lynx Jewel motor. There may very well be something like this out there. Um, but since I made it, I get to name it. So that's what I'm going to call it. I think one of the, the key ingredients here is this 12-volt um, 12 volt, 12 volt, uh, Zener diode. So it allows... Um, it will allow flyback to pass through here, but it won't allow the uh, 9 volts to pass through. It's blocked. So the 9 volts fires through this first coil through the transistor to ground, and as soon as the commutator opens, the transistor turns off and we get flyback. That flyback goes through the red coil to ground. So basically we're running this motor on half a cycle. The other half a cycle is acting like a generator. So anyway, I uh, will turn it on show you how it works. Using this little clip lead here through the potentiometer. So this is volts just through the DC rectifier. I don't have the capacitor hooked up right now. This is a 35 volt uh, capacitor. Now what we'll do is we'll send the uh, rectified DC back into the battery. It's just the positive leg right now and the DC output. Go the speed change. And put it back on. Back from the motor.
discovered is the timing issue is really tough to get right. Because you need that field to collapse. Send the fly back just at the right time. And I, I probably don't have it just right. You can kind of hear that thumping. And I have a feeling my uh, timing isn't just right. But it's good enough to run, so that's good. Yeah, we're still pulling. 300 milliamps. I'm going to take the speed back off again. It actually pulls more juice and slows down. Put that back on. And it runs faster. So there's definitely a generator component to this motor. Because when you pull the generator off the battery, slows down and the amp draw goes up. Back on. Turn it all the way up. That's full speed on 9 volts. What's interesting is we're still getting the flyback even at a slow speed. So you can still charge that battery. Hear the, uh, you can hear the ringing from the coils actually. It's kind of a little whistle sound. It'll run at about two and a half volts. Let's pull the charge off. Put it back on. That's it.